You've got the library working. They have a radio station. They have a television station. And people learn to make their own media. There's no better way to start to understand what you're watching on television than to make it yourself. And you see how it's constructed, how it's manipulated, how it's often manufactured. But we don't have, because of the clear channeling of America, right, you've got this company, Clear Channel, that owns over 1,200 radio stations. Sometimes you'll have six radio stations in town. They're all owned by Clear Channel, and there's piping in music from another state. A big problem, big problem. People need to hear echoes of their own voices, of their neighbors, that, that reflect the reality in your community. I mean, if you just have this national stuff being piped in, this homogenous news that is often echoing the government. This is not America at its best. We need a vibrant discussion from the grassroots up, and the experts are in our own communities, and that's what indie media in a local community is about. It's what a vibrant public access TV station is about. It's what community radio is about. Well, I'm headed now to Indianapolis. Uh, no, not to Indianapolis. We're headed actually to Bloomington. Then we're going over to Albuquerque and then Minneapolis, and then we're headed home to New York. But I have to say it's been a real pleasure being here um, in Louisville. And I do hope to come back. And I hope that someday soon we're soon all together through the broadcast. I hope democracy now comes to That'd be Louisville. great. And it was, it was wonderful to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good evening, and welcome to Louisville Late Night. This, uh, this evening, we're in uh, beautiful uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and it's 5505. 5505. And we are just absolutely thrilled to have with us Amy Goodwin, Amy Goodman, who's the uh, host of Democracy Now! And uh, we're going to be seeing her, her visit here in its entirety. Her wonderful lecture at the, at the Clifton Center is all going to be on a little late night. And, uh, and you're going to hear a lot about Amy there. Anyway, here's Amy's new book. It's called The Exception to the Rulers, Expos Exposing Oily Politicians, War Profiteers, and the Media That Love Them. A little quote on the front. Pick up this book. Read it and go raise some hell <laughs> by Michael Moore. And there's a lot of other great quotes in there too. But So happy we alive, we together can survive. Stop the bullshit, stop the lies, and now's the time to legalize. Tell me, brother, tell me true, what the hell we gonna gonna do? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? We so happy We alive We together can survive Mother Nature Heaven sent Don't belong to God Hey there sister, what's the plan? Do you really, really understand? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one, and one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? We so happy, we alive, 
we together can survive Stop the bullshit, stop the lies Now's the time to legalize At the world up in smoke Where on earth can we take a tough road? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? Human nature, full and free Modifies reality Open up, inner flower Peace and love Inner power, open up, inner flower, peace and love, inner, inner power. Remember the days, we saw purple haze, one and one, and one is three. Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? It is a weapon. It is a tool, but it's a tool for change. Um, and I don't know the solutions to problems, I mean, but I think these are the solutions. Yes. You think things are going to get better? Yes. I think that we cannot afford war in the 21st century. Um, and if people saw the effects of war, babies dead on the ground, one with their legs blown off from cluster bombs, I think they would say, no, we cannot afford this. I think Americans are compassionate people. They care. But if they don't see, well, then they can't know. And I think solutions come out of discussion, debate, dialogue. That's what the media should provide. But, but is there anything that you've been exposed to where you can say, okay, here, here's the outcome. It was a, it was a globe of people living in peace, having national, international institutions. I think we have to come up with our own solutions. I think whole populations, communities do. Um, the answer is not to give, lay down another solution. It is for people to come up with their own solutions. That's when it counts, when it is a part of them, when it is homegrown. But you can't do that based on impartial or wrong, or rather uh, uh, partial or wrong information. You have to know what's going on to make decisions. Okay, let me ask you one last question, changing the subject totally. You know that in Australia right now, uh, some Australian woman is threatened to be uh, put to death in Indonesia. Uh, the Far East, one of those real friendly places you like to visit, I understand. Uh, you're aware of this, that she is supposedly uh, smuggled marijuana into Indonesia, now she's supposed to face a firing squad. And, I'm not uh, sure exactly what you're talking about, but you I'm against that story? Okay, it was on CNN this morning. Huh. This, this Australian apparently smuggled some marijuana into Indonesia. Now